Before you did the study, what would you say that you knew about uterine tears in goats? That's a good question. I, I mean, I guess what I would say I knew from clinical experience was that they definitely happen. It seemed like we saw it more commonly in dystocias, so like difficult kiddings, and oftentimes with like fairly aggressive manipulation, vaginal palpation trying to correct the dystocia. But I think the other question is like, what did we know in the literature, like in the veterinary literature or scientific literature about uterine tears? And the answer is there was like almost nothing published. So when I had that case that I was trying to understand, I definitely, you know, looked back in the literature and tried to figure out, you know, is there anything that we knew? And there's almost nothing. There's one paper from like 20 years ago that looked at goats and sheep that had C-sections. And in that paper, six of the animals had uterine tears. That's like a pretty small number. And it was just sort of like an afterthought in that paper. They don't really talk about it any more than that. So essentially there was almost nothing available in the literature.